What's going on guys? I'm back with another video. I'm going to make this one fairly short. Uh, this is going to be on my video as to how I ship my reptiles and how I believe all reptiles should be shipped. Uh, the company I use is a company called ShipYourReptiles.com. Um, I'm sure if you guys Google them, uh, you'll find all their stuff. I've ordered all... This box that I'm using today was from them, but uh, this is not one that I put together myself. This is one that I'm reusing. Um, so what you're going to want is you're going to obviously want your reptiles. Here I've got two of the albino reddish sliders that I produced myself this year. Uh, they're roughly three inches. Um, I showed you guys these in the last video. This one, this one on the bottom is about three and a half, and this one on the top is just a little over three. Um, and then you're going to want to have two. Uh, these are the deli cups on their site. You can really ship them in anything, but uh, make sure there's holes and then make sure it's, it's tight so that nothing comes undone. But I've got two of those for each turtle. And then I've got the box. Um, you can, Like I said, you can order these off of uh, the website itself. And then inside, uh, it comes with styrofoam and you're gonna have to put those in together but it's fairly straightforward and then I've got newspaper as well then you're what you're gonna want to have is your is your uh, reference note which is just this little uh, this red thing that you're gonna cut out and then you're gonna have a, a shipping label which I'm not gonna show um, due to privacy purposes um, but yeah I'm gonna once I get these guys in there in their uh, little containers and I get them into the box I'll come back with you guys and uh, let you know what the next step is. So uh, I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright guys, so as you can see, I got the uh, turtles packed in their little uh, the little container. I always put a paper towel on the bottom. And for the little littler ones, for the hatchlings, I always put a paper towel on the top as well in between the turtle and then the top of the lid. Uh, I always put the bigger one on the bottom and then the smaller one in here. Um, now, I've gotten a lot of... Uh, kind of hate and I'm guessing it's more from the more inexperienced reptile users um this is not bad for them whatsoever they kind of go in a hibernated stage so they sleep throughout the whole uh shipment and they're if you do it right like right now it's about five o'clock outside uh and it'll be delivered next morning uh normally they're delivered nine to ten a.m um so they're not in there for a long time uh everything is fine uh, depending on the weather, I'll also put a cold or a hot pack, but it's like kind of the middle of the fall, so it's not hot, it's not cold. Uh, I think they'll be fine without anything else uh, to keep the uh, temperatures constant or however you want to put that. But then I normally uh, stuff the sides of these, especially with the littler turtles, um, with newspaper just so they don't go crazy. But these guys, are they've got some weight to them, and then I'll also put another... Uh, another newspaper on top and then I've got one last tire from the cover but then all you have to do is uh, cover them up tape it up put your shipping label actually I can probably show you hopefully without showing the addresses and stuff on the shipping label um, you'll put you'll just tape the uh, shipping label like I said this box has already been used for shipping you can easily reuse these um, but you just tape the shipping label and then you put the the uh, uh, what's it called the shipping that's not this is the FedEx Sorry, this is the reference note, and then this is the shipping label. Um, you just put in the size of the box. This is a 7x7x6, uh, seven by seven by I believe, they sell on the website. Um, I buy them in bulk. I buy a bunch of them at the same time. But, yeah, then I'll put the last styrofoam on top, cover it up, put all that together, and then I'll give Shipper Reptiles a call. And another good thing about the website is that they... They offer, uh, shoot, I don't know how much. They offer normally about $10 off of what it would it would cost to go to FedEx and ship this yourself. When this is still um, shipped via FedEx, but they, I just call them and they come pick it up. I put these guys out on the doorstep. They'll give me a time slot, and they're normally there within the time slot. There's only been one time that I've ever had um, somebody not deliver or pick up within the time slot. Um, so, yeah. Uh, like I said, just give them a call, uh, you'll give them the, your name, and then they'll list off your address and um, make sure it's, they'll verify it's you, and then uh, they will come pick them up and you're good to go. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, post them down below, and uh, I will have a video for the caramels next week, um, and then my final video of the... Uh, of my turtles for I'm guessing this year other than maybe an update later on this winter uh, will be my turtle room update and then a hibernating video as well there's not too much to do as far as hibernating goes because they're all sleeping but uh 
yeah kids are all starting to get home from school and stuff so I'm out in the backyard but my camera's about to die again so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video I will catch you guys later